this is a box. This is my box, not your box. My box. And in my box, it's upside down, isn't it? And in my box, we've got a bag with dots on it. We've got a, a phone holder. We've got a bust of, I haven't got a clue who this is. Julius Caesar. We've got that. And we've got that. Get rid of that. In this box, sure I can get in. We've got a power lead with a thing on it. Got a turntable with random dots all over it. I, I can't stand it when people go all through the contents of the box and then they open the main product. And I've just done it myself. This started off as a Kickstarter project. I was looking at 3D scanners a, 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 not long ago actually. I was looking at um, uh, doing my own carbon fibre parts and all the 3D scanners were all way, way, way too expensive for what they actually did and what they were and, and you know, and it was just bloody stupid. So this one is an affordable scanner. Uh, it's accurate, is it 0.3 mil resolution on it? Now the actual resolution, so we'll say if we, we, we're scanning, the, scanning this face in, the resolution of the actual thing like on the lips or the nose or the eyes and stuff like that isn't going to be that high, but the actual overall dimensional um, resolution is up to 0.3 millimeters. So I'm not, I'm not expecting fantastic results out of this because I'm not going to be using it for things like this. I'm going to be using it for, get something like this, scan it in, and then I can print a, a mould of it, modify it a bit, print a mould. Shall I do it the way everyone else does it? Look, here's a stand, look, you know, it does that, you can hold it in the shit like that. Uh, this is the cable that goes uh, probably into the camera. There's another cable, blah, blah, blah. Has it got any sweets in here? What's this? Blue tack. This is blue tack to hold things down on the turntable. It's got no sweets. Where's the sweets? You're kidding me, you got no sweets? This is quite heavy really. I thought it'd be very, very light. And I know it's small. Oh, it's USB 3. By the looks of it, that is a USB 3 connector on there. Is that a power button or is it a speaker? I think it's a speaker. Is it? No, I think that's just a speaker of some kind. Is it a button? Is it? <laughs> now on here you've got a, th a camera bit, a camera bit and, and two camera bits. I think these are infrared um, transmitters. Possibly transmitters. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Uh, 5 volt, 1 amps it runs off. It, it looks like it is USB 3. You know, so you've got a USB-C to micro B, USB-A 3 to micro B 3. So that one's going to be plugged into my laptop. This one is going to be used for the phone because it does actually do portable scanning which is what the, uh, what the phone holder's for. Hang on. So you, you could put it on, you know, put it on the stand, like you open the stand up like that. I think is that that must be telescopic. It's got to be telescopic. Ha! It's telescopic. So you, I mean, you can hold it like that if you want. So I'm going to put this all away. I'm going to set the camera up somewhere else so everybody can see exactly what I'm doing. And then we'll scan something. I've got this set up here. There's the scanner. Uh, the software. Download it, easy, install it, easy, plug it in, it detects it, off you go. Uh, you put this where it says between good and excellent, actually. Good is too far away. Excellent, there you go. So we'll put it on excellent. There's the infrared image, there's the camera image, and that's, that's the um, transition that it sees, or it's transition, or it's process, whatever. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to press on the play, and it should start building. 
So it's done a couple of turns now and I'm happy with what it's actually taken. I'll press the pause button like that and I'll get this and I'll tip that down on its back. It's amazing how it actually recognises and it, and it, and it, it meshes all this together or gets all these cloud points with something that you've just put down on its back. I, I don't... that is so clever. We've got those points now. So we'll press pause again, and what we'll do is we'll just tip him on his nose. There, near enough. Press play. That's been around a couple of times. We'll press stop, uh, we'll press complete, and then it goes through the cam cloud point fusing, so it gets all those tiny little dots and it fuses them all together. Fusing complete, and then you hit the mesh button. Oh yes, whatever. And there's the image. It's not very easy at all to actually orientate this. Obviously you've got to export it into something, but I'll try and show you if I can bring it round. If I put that, if I get that out of the way, and then I'll get that on camera like that and then I can put that at the side of the image that it's actually captured and then you can see the difference in resolution see so the face you can make out you well you've got all the lips and you've got the nose you've got the eyes and the ears and you've got absolutely every part of it but the, the definition of it as in you now on that one you can actually see the eyes themselves you can't see those eyes so the resolution itself isn't brilliant the output is brilliant. What I'm going to do, that swing on, I'm going to spray it either silver, white or, or something. I think I've got some white spray and I knew it wouldn't actually pick up matte black. Obviously it picks up things like that. It'll pick that up because it's white but it won't pick up matte black. That is, f <laughs> that is so bad. It's real. It's me. Oh my god, even the broken nose and everything. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable. That's uncanny. I reckon with a bit better lighting, if I was to, you know, spin around on the chair so it's consistent light from all sides, that that would come out a hell of a lot better. I mean, it looks, it's quite uncanny, really. <laughs> but I'm, I'm impressed. I am impressed with it. I didn't know my nose was that bent. Bloody hell. So I've got, I've got a lot of playing around to do with this, uh, just to make sure that I can actually do what I want to do with this sort of thing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to spray this white, because I've got some white spray, and then I can actually scan it in, and I can start messing around with it and make me three my um, carbon fibre parts out of it. So I'll put a link in the description, you're going to see more of this thing, definitely going to see more of it. I'm going to put a link in the description, go and check it out, they're actually working on a second version of this already and it's supposed to be a higher resolution and it's also a smaller platform. Please send me one. <laughs> I'd love to review one of them as well.